Hi friends, welcome to Ask Investment Academy YouTube channel. Today I would like to explain you one new option strategy called as Options OV strategy with 95% accuracy. I will explain some of the basics required to understand this Options OV strategy. Whenever the stock is bullish, either we can buy the stock or we can buy the futures or we can buy the call options. That means C's in order to make profit out of it. If a stock is bearish, we can sell the stock in intraday or we can sell the futures or we can buy the put options in order to make profit out of the bearishness of the stock or index. So if the stock is bullish, we can buy call options that means CEs or we can short the put options. If a stock or index is bearish, we can sell the call option or we can buy the put option. Now you need to understand about ITM, ATM and OTM in the options. For explaining this, I have opened Nifty option chain. Nifty presently trading near to 22,957. So all the strike prices lesser than this spot price. That means 22,950 CE, 22,900 CE, 22,850 CE, all are ITM CEs. The CE is greater than the spot price. That means 23,000 CE, 23,050 CE, 23,150 CE, all are OTM CEs. The strike price nearest to the spot price is called as ATM CE. In this case, this 22,950 CE can be considered as the ATM CE. Similarly, in the puts, the put options lesser than the spot price that means 22,950 PE, 22,900 PE, 22,850 PE all are OTM PEs. The strike price is greater than this 22,957 that means 23,000 PE, 23,050 PE, 23,100 PE all these are ITM PEs. The strike price nearest to this spot price, that means 22,950 PE is called as ATM PE also. Now you need to understand about the premiums of this option strike prices. Say for example, 22,950 CE has the premium of 183 and 22,950 PE has the premium of 116. Next, you need to understand two parts of the premium first part is intrinsic value or actual value second part is time value or over value intrinsic value or actual value means it is the actual valuation of that options that means spot price minus strike price time value or over value means how much that option premium is overvalued similarly in put options also Premiums of the options are divided into two parts. First part is intrinsic value or actual value. Second part is time value or over value. So intrinsic value or actual value means strike price minus spot price. Time value or over value means how much the option premium is overvalued compared to the intrinsic value. Now we will try to calculate the actual value and over value of the premiums. Presently Nifty is trading at around 22,957. We have taken two ATM strike prices. That means 22,950 CE and 22,950 PE. For 22,950 CE premium is at 183. That means its actual value is 7 and over valuation is 176. Coming to the put options, 22,950 PE is trading at around 116.75. That means its actual value is minus 7 and overvaluation is approximately 124. Now how much is the overvaluation in CE and PE? Please compare. Overvaluation in Nifty ATM CE is 176 and overvaluation in Nifty ATM PE is 124. Now which one is overvalued? Nifty 22,950 CE is overvalued compared to Nifty 22,950 PE. Now you have to keep track of the overvalued options. If the overvalue is more in CE, then market may be bullish in near future. If overvaluation is more in PE compared to CE, then 
market may be bearish in near future. I will explain you this concept with the help of charts. You can easily apply this options OV strategy using the Upstocks platform. If you don't have an account with the Upstocks, please open a DMAT account with the link given in the description in order to trade in the options with less brokerage and less deduction. Also, you can get the option chain at one single click by clicking on this option chain you can able to easily observe which one is overvalued either ce premiums are overvalued or pe premiums are more overvalued now i will try to explain this options ov strategy with the help of the chart i have opened the nifty 50 chart on 23rd of may with 15 minutes time frame at the end of 9 45 nifty was trading at around 22,681. if you see this nifty has broken its previous day's high and it is trading at around 22,681. now i will try to observe CEs and PEs at this ATM value. What is that ATM value for 22,681? Approximately it is 22,700. Now I will try to open 22,700 CEs and PEs in the Nifty to observe the overvaluations. You can observe this overvaluation directly opening the option chain at that particular point but that is the past value. What I am doing is with the help of chart I will explain. This is 22,700 CE at around 945. It was trading at around 180 but at 945 Nifty was trading at around 22,681. So uh, how much this 22,700 is overvalued? It is 181 plus 19 approximately 200. This 22,700 CE is overvalued by 200 points. Coming to 22,700 PE, it was trading at around 142 and its actual value is 19. So 142 minus 19. That means its overvaluation is approximately 123. Now CE's overvaluation is 200 and PE overvaluation is 123. That means CEs are hugely overvalued compared to PE. That means big players like FIIs, DIIs and big retail traders are expecting market to increase hugely on that day and as expected market has increased hugely on that day by another 300 points in intraday. You have two options here. Either you can buy CEs and hold till the end of the day that will give you good profit or you can short PEs also and and you can hold till the end of the day but if you buy CEs you will get more profit if you short PEs you will get less profit this is valid in the day where there is a one-sided huge movement is available but whenever there is a range bound movement shorting the options is the best option why because premium decay will help you to earn more money now coming to the 24th nifty was trading at around 22,985 approximately here what is the atm value atm value will be approximately 23,000 ce and 23,000 pm now i will open 23,000 ce and 23 thousand PE chart for 24th so its value is 185 at 930 that means this CE is overvalued by 200 points and PE is overvalued by 145 points so CEs are overvalued by 200 and PEs are overvalued by 145 approximately. So that means big players like FIIs, DIIs, big retail traders are expecting market to increase. Why? Because Nifty has broken its all-time high and there will be no sellers in coming future at the higher value. So big players have bought CEs at the huge valuation. Now whatever I have told, either you have two options here. One is buying CEs and another one is shorting PEs. I will choose shorting PEs instead of buying buying CEs. Why? Because I will explain you. If I short PE, PE at around 9.30, it was trading at around 165 and it closed at around 137. It got approximately 35 points at the midway and around 28 points at the end of the day. So those 28 points is profit for you. Again, I am telling you how you can short the option. You require 1.5 lakh rupees to 2 lakh rupees if you want to short a PE option. But as I already told in one option spread concept, what you you have to do first you have to buy for OTM PE before shorting this 23,000 PE that means you have to buy 22,500 PE or 22,000 PE before shorting this 23,000 PE now try to observe this 22,000 PE 
22,000 PE was trading at around 8.7 at the starting of the day and it closed at around 6.5. So you have to buy this 22,000 PE at the morning before shorting 23,000 PE. So 23,000 PE has given you 28 points of profit and 22,000 PE have given you 1.5 points of loss. If you combine both, you will get 26 points of profit. So in this way, if market increases continuously or if market is range bound, then you can be profitable if you are shorting PEs. Say for example, if CE premiums are more overvalued, short PEs. If PE premiums are more overvalued, short CEs. In this way, you can be profitable in case of movement in your expected direction or if the market is range bound. Now you may have doubt like what happens if market moves suddenly before you exit or take the new trade. Market will not move suddenly in opposite direction until unless big players are involved. If big players are involved, then they will move premiums accordingly and there will be more overvaluation in the future movement direction. Direction. Say for example, if stock price is continuously increasing, if stock price suddenly falls, before falling, most of the big players will buy PEs and it will lead to the more overvaluation in the PE. If you see more overvaluation in the PE at any time of the day, then you have to exit your CE holdings or PE short holdings and then you have to buy PEs or you can short CEs. So whenever market is continuously increasing, market will not suddenly fall until unless there are clues from the big players. So those clues are these overvaluations in the premiums. Presently, if you see, CEs are more overvalued compared to the PEs. So market is bullish. Big players are expecting market going to increase. Say for example, tomorrow on Monday, if market opens, if you see more overvaluation in the PEs, by mistake, if you are holding the CE options also, please exit those CE options and you can either buy PEs CEs or you can short CEs when, whenever you are seeing more overvaluations in the PEs. I hope it is clear to everyone. If you are using this overvaluation concept for buying CEs or PEs, then you can expect around 70% to 80% accuracy. But if you are shorting CEs or PEs using this overvaluation concept, and if you include the breaking of resistance support PDH PDL, you can uh, get around 95% of accuracy. In this example, even if the market is range bound, if you are getting around 28 points of uh, profit by shorting PEs, if you exclude a loss in buying the far OTM PEs, you will get around 25 points of profit. If you multiply 25 points of profit with lot size of 50, it will be 1250 rupees profit for 20,000 investment. If your lot size is 25 in Nifty, then money required is 10,000. In that case, you will earn around 625, which is approximately 5% to 6% returns on your capital. If you are consistently doing this with a capital of 1 lakh rupees at the starting, then you can make 23 lakhs at the end of three months so try to understand the power of daily compounding and try to understand the power of consistent small small profits if you are applying this strategy and if you are earning profits please write your feedback in the comment section under this video it will motivate me to make more videos on new strategies like this thank you very much and don't forget to trade in the upstocks for less brokerage and less deductions for easy usage of this option chain option overvaluation strategy. Thank you very much.